Sup everyone, I'm Fimla Taku and I'm here to review episode 9 of Ajin. So happy that this got translated much faster than episode 8. But anyway, before I get down to the basis of this review, I've gotta say that someone last week sent me a link to the actual Ajin website where Sato posted the video. Yeah, so I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you want to see that for yourself. It's so cool, it reminds me of like the Dollars website from Drara. Anyway, so with this episode, we see a very interesting change with K. It got me thinking. You know how K's sister says how much she hates her brother and how much he's a scumbag and you know things like that and i told her to get over it well maybe k really isn't all that good of a person i mean sure i do understand why he a little as to why he was acting the way he did within this episode since you know the last time he trust did an ajin he was, you know, attacked a couple of times, and uh, now that he's finally safe, he's found, uh, you know, a safe zone for himself, he really doesn't want that taken away from him. But just doing all that to Nakano, I'm, I'm starting to root for this guy, Nakano, aka the kid, the redhead kid from last week. I really like this guy, I'm, si I'm siding with him. I think he's my favorite character now. Yeah. I'm not starting to like K anymore. This is so strange. Just the way how he's been acting. I think I discussed this before, but normally what happens in these types of situations when you have a, a kid, or oh, our, our main character, when he has a normal life, that all of a sudden his life gets turned upside down, he's now a monster. It's him trying to cope with his new life and all the dangers around him with being a monster. And the strange thing is that Kay is taking it kind of well. And now he's, uh, you know, studying more about his black ghost and everything. He's kind of accepted that his black ghost is violent. And when the ghost killed Nakano, he, Kay was kind of okay with it. He was just like, oh great, what do I do with this body? It's like... Okay, you. Hello? Like, he's not reacting anymore. He's so monotoned. It's weird. I'm not used to this. I'm not. Normally, the main character wouldn't act like that. So it's pretty cool that in Ajin, K is acting like this. It makes Ajin stand out from all the other types of anime that are like in this situation, such as, you know, Parasite, Dead Man Wonderland, Tokyo Ghoul. It's it's kind of cool. I still don't like Kei, but it was a nice move to make Ajin stand out from the rest. So Kei and Nakano have this fight. Nakano's trying to get Kei onto his side into defeating Sato, and just, I, I love Nakano so much. He's so expressive. You just see him, like, gobbling all the onigiri, and then when K, when you see K trying to kill him at all costs, it's like, what? Oh man, it got real. And then Nakano fell off, well, jumped off the cliff. Of course, you know, he, uh, he lived in the end. And then he was choking K, but then K got the sticks, okay? He, he broke it with his knee and then stabbed oh, Nakano. And then he kills himself. I'm like, oh my gosh. And, and, and then he suffocated Nakano and trapped him in an abandoned truck. No. Why is he keeping him there? Why is he just keeping him there? What? Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, I think he's turning into like Mikado from Dorara. And now that I'm scared of him. And I really don't know what he's gonna do next. And I like that. And with the rest of the episode, we see Sato, you know, getting more um, weapons for his army. And then we also have Tosaki at the end. Uh, I, I think it's a visual. I don't like Tosaki. 
Even though I was questioning, I was conflicted like two episodes back, I made my final decision, I don't like him. I understand why he's doing what he's doing, but I still don't like him. Alright, that's where I'm at. And he still has the professor held hostage, he was beating him up so much, but the professor just wanted his FK, so he did, and now he's gonna tell them everything. So Ajin, oh, it's going really well right now. And I really want episode 10. I really do. Well, catch him later as I review Haitagunsa no Grimgar and live react to Nijiro Days. I'm Yufimu Otaku, Sayonara.